The killer doll has some killer pipes, but a creepy song wasn't always part of the horror hit, Megan. Here's how the unsettling lullaby made it into the final cut. Megan has been sashaying her way into the pop culture zeitgeist more and more as we head into the opening stretch of 2023. From the killer doll flick's impressive critical reception to the sizable box office haul of its opening weekend, it looks like there's a new horror icon in town who could probably beat the stuffing out of competitors like Chucky. You should probably run. All the same, Megan has a surprising amount of heart for a movie with such a campy tone and goofy premise. While the android definitely seems to be looking out for number one by the end of the movie, she also appears to genuinely care about Katie and have her best interests at heart. This friendlier side of her is shown when she serenades the troubled Katie to sleep with an on-the-nose song choice in the film that had fans absolutely buzzing on social media. Of course, fans might recall that Anna Kendrick sang the very same song in the musical comedy Pitch Perfect, and in the same a cappella style that Megan does. However, Jenna Davis, who voices the android, performs a double-sided take on Titanium by David Guetta and Sia. No matter how nicely it's sung, this lullaby is a little less than comforting and more of a major threat. Many fans loved the needle drop, with one predicting on Twitter, Megan will single-handedly send Titanium by Sia skyrocketing to the top of the charts. Meanwhile, others were just happy to have another reason to fall in love with the movie. Another fan posted, she gave us an acapella of titanium. She protected and killed without mercy. So camp, ridiculous, and funny. I loved this movie. With Megan singing and dancing her way into everybody's good graces, it probably won't be long before the android returns to terrorize another family in the inevitable sequel. Until then, fans can listen to her rendition of titanium on Spotify. Megan is a dancing and singing sensation, but she wasn't always meant to be that way. One piece of movie trivia that's been making the rounds is that the iconic dance Megan does toward the film's finale wasn't in the original script. Director Gerard Johnstone told 2Fab that he came up with the dance on the fly, and he was just hoping people would embrace it. Johnstone said, I thought it was one of those ideas you come up with when you just haven't had enough sleep. It just felt like this is the kind of fun we need. However, now we know that Megan singing Titanium was also from the mind of Johnstone. He did an interview with Variety where he spoke about all things related to Megan. He revealed that the musical number wasn't in the original script, but he was allotted enough creative freedom to the point he could have fun with the moment when Megan comforts Katie. He explained, It was a scene where she was trying to reassure Katie, and I was thinking, well, what's the best way to reassure her? A lullaby. I don't know how that song, maybe it was playing or maybe it just made sense, because Megan was made of titanium. I just remember thinking, this would be really funny. Whatever the source of inspiration was, it led to an instantly memorable moment that helped make Megan a great movie villain.